Joy Zone, how are you today? It is so good to be here with you again. We have a great service plan and a brand new series that is called Mini Pumpkins. So get ready to hear all about it in the next few minutes. You are gonna have a great time. Here we go. What's up guys, it's Kinsey and we're gonna go over our verse for this month and it says, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech and conduct and love, faith and in purity. And that is found in 1 Timothy 4, 12. We're gonna say it one more time. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech and conduct, love and faith and purity. So that is our scripture for this month. Get it down packed and learn it and say it over and over again. It's super easy and it's actually my favorite scripture. So I'm super glad you guys get to hear it. I want to know how it goes. See you next time. All right, Joy Zone, it's time for our lesson. So if you've got your Bible, go ahead and get it out or open it up on your tablet and turn to the book of Exodus chapter two. Exodus chapter two, it's the second book in the Bible. Exodus two, and we're gonna be talking today about Miriam. So our series is called Mini Pumpkins, like little pumpkins. 
and it's talking about how little kids, just like you, can do great big things for God. And so we're going to look at young people through the Bible that God used to set nations free. He used to uh, establish kingdoms with them, all with young people just like you. And so this first week, we're talking about Miriam, and her brother is somebody that I know you know. His name was Moses. And so in Exodus chapter 2, if you'll open your Bible there, um, her, the mom was trying to protect Moses, right? Because he was a baby boy and Pharaoh had ordered that all the baby boys were to be killed. And so she's trying to protect her son. So the Bible says that she builds this basket for him and she's gonna float him down the river in hopes that you know he'll be okay there and maybe she can go and find him later on and his life can be spared. So she tells her daughter Miriam, take this basket, go put it down the river and then watch your brother and make sure that he's okay. So in Exodus chapter two and verse four, it says his sister, who is Miriam, stood stationed herself at a distance to find out what would happen to him. And then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself by the Nile. And while her attendants were walking alongside the river and she saw a basket among the reeds. So she sees this little basket, but doesn't know that there's a baby inside. And she sent one of her attendants who took it. And when she opened it, she saw the child and she said, a boy crying. And she felt compassion for him and said, this is one of the Hebrew children. So the Hebrew children were, um, they were enslaved at that time in Egypt. And so Pharaoh was trying to get rid of all the little boys and just, there were really bad things that were going on, but God had a plan and he used Miriam to protect Moses. And then Moses ends up being raised by his mother. She becomes like a nanny to help out Pharaoh's daughter. And Moses gets raised in the palace, gets trained as a warrior. And then all of a sudden one day he starts feeling the stuff in his heart where he realizes his true identity and God uses him to set an entire nation free. All because an older sister followed the directions that her mom gave her, saved her brother's life, and God's plan, his destiny, unfolded out of her obedience. Can I just say that if you're the older brother or older sister, I wonder how many of you are. You've got that little brother or little sister that you know you're friends with or you have playtime with, and then sometimes they can kind of get on your nerves a little bit and you want them to go and play in their own room. I just want you to remember how special and how valuable they are and how much they look up to you. And as that older brother or sister, that you have the ability to impact your siblings' lives and to let God use your love, your acts of obedience, what your mom and dad are telling you to do, the kindness that you show toward them to help set up their destiny and start them on the course that God has for them. So as a small person, as a young person, you're doing great big things for God. Even though it seems so simple to just be nice to your little brother or sister, it's having a big impact. So let me just challenge you to be that person who lives a strong life for God, walks in obedience to those that are in authority over you, and loves your little brother or sister, loves that little cousin that is in your life so that you can help set them up for the destiny that God has for them. All right, take that challenge this week and walk in love every single day. I love you, Joy Zone, and I'm very, very proud of you. Hey Joy Zone, welcome to Craft Time. I hope you enjoyed Pastor Kat's message today. She spoke about Miriam and Moses. And for Craft Time, we're gonna do just that, recreate a scene to help you remember everything that you learned today. So get your boxes ready, get your crayons, markers, anything that you have at home that you can either recycle or, or use with your parents' permission, bring it all out and we can do this together. So you're going to need construction paper. You're going to need a blue construction paper, Green construction paper, we're gonna be using glue, scissors, and markers. Before you start your, your project, you can have an adult help you print out some of these images, or if you are very artistic and you wanna draw them yourselves, you are more than welcome to. So there's uh, things that we're going to use that you can find at home. If your mom makes cupcakes at home, then you probably have these, and all, they, all it is is a cupcake liner. So we're gonna use this as our basket where baby Moses is going to float on the river. All right, so let's get started. First things first is that we are going to create our river scene. So we have a blue construction paper. The green is going to represent the grass. 
So all you need to do here is three quarters of the way, fold your green paper, and you're just gonna need a little bit of space here for grass. All right, so here's where you can use, if you have glue at home, if you have tape, if you have a stapler, whatever it is that you can use, go ahead and do that now. So we want these two papers stuck together. So I'm gonna use a stapler just so that it's quicker and easier. So make sure that those two are stuck together and they're not gonna come apart. Because this is something you can keep on your fireplace or if you want to keep it above your drawer in your room. Like I said, it's a craft that's going to help you remember um, one of the greatest stories in the Bible, Miriam and Moses. Okay, so here's the fun part. Grab your scissors and we're going to make grass with this green uh, construction paper. So all I'm going to do here is start cutting. Cut away. Now, there's no wrong way to cut. Just cut the green part, not the blue part. Okay, so I'm gonna make the little strands of grass. I would assume that back then they didn't have any lawn mowers, so it wasn't like short grass, it was very long grass. So make sure your grass is long and lean. All right, so continue that. All right. And right about towards the end of the strip, I'm gonna create just a little window here. And you'll see what I'm doing in just a moment. I'm gonna cut a little piece here, size of a, maybe three inches or so, a little box there. So it's gonna, right? You see the length there? So it goes from long to short. All right, I'm gonna create some grass here as well. But this is where we're going to place Miriam because remember, Miriam is looking out for him. All right, so this is what that looks like. There's the river, there's your blue, which is the river, the water, and then your green construction paper is the grass. Now, like I said before, you can draw these, you can print them out. Um, if you go to the dollar store or the craft store and you want to get stickers that resemble Miriam and Moses, you can do that. So I found these in the back and all it is, it's a little baby that represents Moses and then a young little girl that represents Miriam. You can color it, do get creative, do whatever you want. So I am gonna use my crayons today. So you can use markers or you can use chalk if you have chalk, I have glue, I have glitter, I have all kinds of stuff at home that I like to use. You can do that as well. All right, so let's just start with the baby here. Quickly, I'm gonna add some color to it. So this is where your mom's stuff comes in, the stuff that she bakes with. Remember, grab any, it can be any color. Uh, this was a Christmas one, but it's okay, it'll work just fine. But this is gonna be the little basket that Moses floats in. So all you're going to do, grab your glue, Put a dot of it in the middle of your cupcake liner. Now, you can do, um, you can color your liner in the inside if you wanna make it brown. If you wanna make it look more like a basket, you're more than welcome to. If you don't have any cupcake liners, you can use uh, a paper bag if you have a paper bag somewhere and just cut a big, cut a, bug, a little basket looking thing and glue it right on and it's gonna work just fine. So all you need is a little bit of glue. Okay. And then now we wanna glue this onto the blue part of the construction paper because that's what represents the water. So remember he was floating and just place it anywhere you want. It can be to the side, it can be in the middle, wherever you want. I'm gonna do it in the middle there. So now we have Miriam. So this is what my Miriam looks like. She's gonna be watching over her little brother. So color it as well. Do whatever you'd like. Okay. 
Okay, so my Miriam is colored, and what I want to do is I want to place her right behind the short grass where she can see baby Moses. So for this, I'm gonna use my stapler just so it'll hold better. If you wanna use something on the back of it so that it doesn't fall back, you are more than welcome to. I'm gonna put that grass back in the back so that it looks like she's kind of hiding because she doesn't want to be seen. All right? So this is what it looks like. We have recreated the scene where Moses is floating in the basket down the river and Miriam is watching um, from behind the grass or the bushes. And we are done with this craft. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, God is good all the time. Amen. So that's all we have for you today, Joy Zone. Remember that scripture, practice it, post a video of yourself saying it. When you finish that craft, we wanna see that picture too. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.